Hi, today I'm here with Norman Frisch, who is responsible for the business development and transport sector for Huawei Technologies. So from your perspective, how will ITS evolve in the future and what kind of technology will play a big role in this evolution? I think the, the, the ITS um, started off with a very controversial, very many different technologies, dedicated technologies for each and every um, subsystem. What you now see in the technology is more a trend to migrate, to merge into a single technology to make things simpler. In the past you had dedicated systems and each of them were independently worked on. You had to have um, operational costs experts to maintain them. Um, the trend is much more going into a universal system running and coping with all of the different requirements from the transport sector and transport them from A to B. Um, as a key technology in that migration we actually see LTE, long-term evolution. It sounds like a planned long-term evolution but it's an existing technology since a couple of years and it's just like the internet for wireless communication. What is your impression of the 2013 World Congress and what solutions interest you most and why? So a key interest on the ITS this year is definitely connected vehicles, uh, making, con making vehicles aware of what is happening around them. Vehicles exchange information about congestions, vehicles exchange information about problems on the road. It's more like a swarm. So suddenly we have the ability to transport all the information from one vehicle to another and the processing is happening inside the vehicle and can be controlled centralized. So from, from our perspective, connected vehicles is the way to go and in the means of doing that is of course the wireless technology. I mentioned before LTE, this is exactly where LTE is strong in connecting mobiles, connecting vehicles from A to B and being able to transfer small bits of data as well as large chunks of data, data like videos and, and so. Could you tell me about the Huawei ITS solution and how it will evolve? The solution we're presenting here is actually based on our experience we have in the transport sector for many years. Huawei is a company supplying into the transport sector since 1996. Um, we have started with transport sector in the railway area, um, but now we are supporting and supplying our technology into aviation, into ports, um, of course the rail transport, and also in, in oil platforms. Um, how actually the technology will evolve in the future to cope with the future requirements is pretty much based again on, on LTE. Um, LTE is a very open standard so it, it's pretty much like the internet for wireless. This means it's very open to specific protocols which can then be exchanged on that open LTE layer. Um, so what we are doing here, and this is part of our presentation here at the exhibition place, we show how LTE is being used on airports as a trunking system and then right next to it we show how LTE is actually being used to support video surveillance functionality so where you suddenly have your cameras connected to LTE without a cable um, along your airport or along the railway line. Um, so we are constantly adapting our technology into allowing our customers to fulfill their demands. What is the biggest concern in the ITS industry and how can Huawei ITS solution help with that? A very important concern of the ITS in the transport sector is to exchange information in order to allow transport organizations to improve their efficiency this has to do with transmitting information about actual location of devices, transmitting information about um, congestions or problems on the lines or in the processes. Um, and the other side, uh, another concern is of course security. So um, how to achieve security on a, on a means which is affordable. Also there ITS has a very strong role in transmitting information, transmitting video surveillance from passenger locations into control centers. Um, ITS is definitely the tool um, to, to deliver and improve safety and efficiency of these transport organizations. Norman, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.